Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back. And I know you're talking about it not being that hot, but still being drenched in sweat. I, yeah. I tell you, I don't think it matters how hot it is. That humidity can be so killer. Yeah, I mean, the, the humidity today was literally uh, 99%, um, according to the weather. So, I mean, you know, it can only get 1% worse. <laughs> yeah, that theoretically will, that, that'll do it for you. I mean, today yeah. it wasn't, like, it was raining all day here, and I had made the kids, like, put jackets on to go outside. And we walked outside, and I was like, it's like 72 degrees, but I feel like it's 90 yeah. right now. Right, right. It's like, we, you know what, actually, we don't need these jackets. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't. Yeah. I don't remember <laughs> where I was actually working last time we. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've gone a couple. I've like, I kind of each time we we record, I just kind of pick a new area. I feel like honestly, I'm not. I don't think I'm being consistent. I just keep trying to find mobs. I'm like, okay, if there's a mob here, why? <laughs> just why? Let me just ask yeah. you something, Mister Mob. Why are you here? I have some questions. <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> Why did you and your family move to this cave? Yeah. Is it our political views? Is it a... Honestly. Uh... So has it been fun this time, though? Out in the woods again? Yeah, I think I've been having a good time. Um, I went fishing the other day, and uh, I caught a bunch of fish. Honestly, I had uh, mm -hmm. six fish. Mm -hmm. Sure you did. <laughs> uh honestly it was it was it was going great like i the night before it was actually last last tuesday after we recorded together i went back well i went back, I went back home and helped jess with like some laundry and some various shit but when i went out to the um the cabin um i collected bugs for a while and uh gathered a whole bunch of beetles and like centipedes and millipedes and just put them all in a jar and just had a big collection of bugs um, and I took those with me fishing, and I didn't catch shit with them. Uh, <laughs> um, I wasn't. I would get a bite, but they would just be. They would just take my bait. Like just every time, it just took my bait. Um, so I switched to a lure, and I was just bringing them in. Like throw it out, bring another one in. Throw it out, bring another one in. So um, I caught two bass. Well, I think I caught like four bass, but I threw some back because they were too small. Um, but yeah, I caught uh, um, two bass and four bluegill that uh that i kept so and, I, uh, I i saw you mention about going to smoke them up mm -hmm. so have you been smoking them to preserve them yes um so chat unlocked my traeger so it's not like it's not like i made a smoker in the woods i just have a smoker now um so it's kind of cheaty in in that aspect but i mean that's how all of this is right chat can unlock things that help simplify the woods aspect of things um so yeah the traeger the traeger's been unlocked which you know makes it easier to smoke and i ate i ate all four bluegill that night they were just so fucking good and then i ate a bass too i ate i ate a lot of fish actually i forgot i ate the bass too um but i had one bass left and i smoked the fillets like i filleted him the the bluegill i cooked whole uh well i took the heads off but you know gutted them and cooked them the rest of their body like you know i didn't fillet them basically um but uh but yeah i smoked the bass fillets and i was gonna put them in soup so the next day i made like i took the fish heads um from the bluegill because i like cooked them on or whatever like I, I threw them all in the smoker all the heads just they were like taken off the bodies basically um but uh i threw all those in a pot and boiled it and then i had these like little these they're from h mart they're these little miso soup packets um and I, they're like super small right but uh like I, I added the broth to those and they was it was really good um and then it went a few days and i didn't eat the fish yet and it just doesn't smell great <laughs> it doesn't smell bad but it just doesn't smell appetizing either so i tossed it today so i didn't eat i didn't eat one of the bass but i ate everything else so i mean i would consider you know that not smelling great, but but I think it. I don't think it smelled off. It just smelled very fishy. But I mean, it's fish, right? Um, so I don't know this that the smell was like uh, this is not good. You can't eat this. It was just I don't know. It was kind of like in my head too because I thought I'd been smelling the fish carcass because I put it in a trash bag and then like wrapped it up and like put it away. Um, 
but I hadn't taken it like up to the house yet and put it like in the trash. Um, and I thought I'd been smelling that. It is so fucking dark where I'm at right now. Um, I thought I'd been smelling that for a few days, but come to find out, I had an egg rot in my egg uh, crate that I have in camp, and uh, I had been smelling a rotten egg for like three days until I found it. Um, did not realize. So yeah, it was not. It was not a. Uh, um, it was not the fish. So <laughs> how how often do you have eggs that actually turn? This is the first time it's ever happened. Uh, we've never had a rotten egg before, and I think what happened with this, I think when I gathered it, I um, I must have cracked it on accident, and so it just uh, it because like in the carton it had like seeped out, uh, so I think it had to have been cracked for that to happen. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, I, yeah. One would assume that if it's actually like seeping out, that means it was compromised in some way, shape, or form. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so yeah, I think that one was just like probably user error. Like I messed up and cracked it when I gathered it. There's a lot of times where that'll kind of happen where um, we we don't have a set. We have, like, egg baskets, but, dude, we're getting so many eggs at this point that, like, it's pointless. Um, so, like, uh, a lot of times when I gather the eggs, I just, like, gather them all in my shirt or something, you know? <laughs> uh, and then? Yeah, and and then when I'm putting them, putting them away, sometimes they'll kind of fall a little bit, and I'm like, I'll, I'll look at them and be like, it's good to me. This is the first. I mean, that or they're clearly cracked, which has happened quite often too. Where it's like, oh, that's that egg's fucked up. Um, in fact, I dropped one the other day and I like fucked up like four eggs. But again, dude, we got we got up to a thousand eggs. I don't know if I told you about that. I don't think you told me you got to a thousand. No. Yeah. That yeah, seems man, to be a, a substantial number. Yeah, we started. Um, what we were doing is we would uh, we crack seventy eggs in a pan, uh, like the disposable foil pans you get at like costco or whatever mm -hmm. um you get like a 60 pack of them or something um we cracked 70 of those in there uh and do two two trays so 140 eggs and we'd roast them at like 400 for like an hour um uh, like shell and all uh just all 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 of the egg just throw it all in the pan crack it up with like use like a wooden spoon crack it all up and throw it in the oven um and then give it to the chickens the next day and we did that mm every day until we were out of eggs um and it took a long time because even though we were going through 140 eggs a day there was still tons of eggs being gathered every day as well so it's like oh, we're not we're not you're, even you're making not making a dent yeah um so yeah we got the other coop built i don't know if i i think i told you about the polish chickens just wanted yeah yeah um so yeah, we got that done uh we got them in there finally uh so we have we have our our secondary coop now with the uh, the special special purebred fancy chickens. Um, and are they are they strutting their stuff as if they're better than the other chickens? <laughs> well, right now, because um, we cat we also hatch barred rocks, the uh, the duck and dock chickens, um, and so we have all of them together right now because there's not a like really a thread of them uh, uh, impregnating them or whatever, you know, because they're still so young. Um, so right now it's like there's like 40 chickens in the little area that we kind of mean it for like 20. Um, so this is also their first time being out in like the open. They've been in a like a breed out pen we built in our coop that's like four by six by like two feet tall, three feet tall. So they haven't been able to like really run and jump. And so we put them in there yesterday and they went wild. They were just like flipping out, running around like they uh, they're definitely happy to have some space, it seems. So that's good. I remember when I was out there and you were still keeping that one chicken like by you in the cage because it was still learning. And now you just have like this free range chickens everywhere. There. Uh, yeah, yeah, duck. I think so. You're talking about like whenever we were like in the camp or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't remember yeah. if it was duck. I, I'll be honest. I didn't yeah, she pay was. That much attention. She was definitely me. just duck. Um, because duck didn't come till later. The rooster. Uh. Yeah, she um, after the subathon ended, Duck and Doc, uh, Doc was the the rooster. Um, they they stayed down there for a while, and they would uh, eventually they I think they heard me in the yard is what I think actually happened, um, and they came up to the house like what's going on up here, um, and uh, then they were still going down to the roost every night to roost, 
But every day they started coming up and hanging out with the other chickens. And then slowly that just became, oh, we're just part of the other chickens. And then Doc turned into an asshole and started being aggressive, so we sold him. Um, so yeah, we just have Doc still. But she's, she no longer lives in the woods. Um, and something got into that coop. She was still laying her eggs down there. And uh, whenever we went on our honeymoon, we had a friend take care of the chickens. But I was like, you don't have to worry about going down like into the woods. I'm just going to leave the coop open. And I tested like a week before our, we left. And just like left it open. And they would go roost at night. And, you know, I just kind of let them do their thing. But I think, I don't know if it was when they were still going down there or what. But whenever I got back, we got back from the honeymoon, they were roosting in the coop. And when I went down, like roosting the, the big coop up here. And I went down there to the woods and something had, like, ate all her eggs, and they were, like, all cracked up and stuff. Um, so I don't know if, like, something got in there when they were in there, and then she, they like, got spooked or what. But, yeah. Anyways, a lot of, a lot of chicken tails. <laughs> I just realized I, like, wandered around to an area that we've already been. But I don't know where it's at. <laughs> so I'm trying to, like, get my bearings on, okay, where is right. this place? But I don't have any idea. Um, you know, we had that, I've told you about that chicken that Jess loved called Chicken Little and he died, whatever. Um, yeah, whatever. Chicken Little. Yeah, that fucking idiot. <laughs> um, he was one of the silkies, little, you know what I'm silk, the silkies look like, right? Yeah. yeah. Fluffy. Okay. Uh, so, um, we have another, we, we got another silky to beat her friend and her name's Pepper. Um, and right before chicken little died jess was like i want to bring her in the house because i'm worried something's gonna get her and she's like i'm gonna get diapers for her and all this and then something got her like a couple get, days later i'm gonna get diapers <laughs> for her yeah they sell fucking chicken diapers man it's stupid i'm like no 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 chickens in the house but um so far i'm winning this battle uh <laughs> i might be killing the chicken <laughs> she'd kill me if i was just out she, every time she's telling me she's gonna bring a chicken in the house i kill it um you're but, like, oh, uh, oh, yeah, that one, it didn't make it. Uh, oh, yeah, damn, shit, shit, wonder what happened to it. Um, chicken yeah, diapers? Uh, yeah, man, they, they make chicken diapers. I mean, there's all these people, is, like, yeah. on TikTok and shit that have, like, they just have, like, a whole chicken page. It's mostly silkies and, like, Polish chickens, all these fucking, you know, uh, luxury breeds or whatever. Um, that's what people have these TikTok but, pages about. But is there, like... Is it a pet chicken that they have inside, or is this yeah. like we're talking? They have fifteen chickens that live in the oh, house. Oh no, no, they'll, they'll have like maybe two. You know, they would have a couple, a handful of chickens. But no, like it's not like my flock of chickens that lives in the house. It's like my little pet chicken that runs around. A lot of people use face masks now, actually, for chicken diapers because apparently they fit around really well. Oh, I thought you were gonna say that they put face masks on the chickens. Like I, yeah. I don't mean their butts. I mean like a chicken face mask to protect yeah, them yeah, from they, covid yeah. right you gotta i mean no from uh avian flu <laughs> yeah from avian flu i guess that would be one to protect well i guess that one's just tailored toward them you gotta protect them from like swine flu and oh yeah, like yeah yeah true sure never know you don't want it to cross contaminate no no of course not. New, that would the be the new COVID. that'd be terrible um, <laughs> uh yeah but so anyways but pepper. Well, how does it well how does a chicken lay an egg with a in the diaper. diaper. So yep. you, you're fishing the egg yep. out of the poop. Yep. Yeah, the whole thing's stupid. Like, I don't support this at all. <laughs> I think it's dumb. And, like, I've argued against it, and so far I'm winning. But, like, yeah. Yeah, that's that's the whole thing. Um. But, uh, so we, we have another Silky. Her name's Pepper. And um, we built that new coop I was telling you about. And... She got attacked by a hawk a couple weeks ago, and she got, like, shocked by this whole thing. Like, she, like, was kind of fucked up for, like, a few days, and, like, her head was kind of messed to the, to the side and stuff. But she recovered. She got better. She's like, okay, cool. And so Jess was like, all right, whenever we get this new coop done, I'm going to put Pepper in there with it because she can't mess up anything with the eggs or anything. Her eggs look different. Like, I want to keep Pepper safe. Well, Pepper went missing yesterday. I think Pepper's dead. So anytime, anytime Jess is like, I want to protect that chicken. I love that chicken the most. But that chicken dies. Now, does that give you pause for your own life? Or does it give you concern that you might not be the most loved thing? Uh, 
<laughs> Honestly, yeah, maybe I should have some concern about what's <laughs> doing for my mortality. You're like, but wait, we've I been mean, together for years, and uh, <laughs> and I'm still alive. It's really weird because um, normally when a chicken dies, you there's like evidence. You know, there's feathers. Um, you find the body. Uh, like hawks can't really carry them off because they're a little too heavy and stuff. And so I don't know what happened to her. Even like a fox, anything that you know takes a chicken normally leaves behind a pile of feathers. We can't find any evidence of her death, so we're still hopeful. We have these chickens that lay blue eggs. I know, like I said, like I'm going all over the fucking place with the story, but it all makes sense if you <laughs> once I get there. Um, and they started laying s- somewhere we don't know, and we like cannot find the blue eggs. And so we're partially hopeful that like Pepper found them because Silkies like to go broody. They like love to fucking hatch eggs. Um, just can't get enough of it. Um, and so we're hoping <laughs> it's, it's that just they, their thing. It's their, it, their it is, man. <laughs> they they love it. Um, so we're hoping she found the blue eggs and she's just off hatching some eggs. But I mean, it's a that's a kind of a pipe dream. So it's just weird that we can't find the feathers. I mean, maybe she's just having like a uh, you know a typical teenage reaction, just running away from home for a while, find her yeah, own maybe. way. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, she'll come back. Saying she's sorry. <laughs> True. Uh, I'm very high in this cave. <laughs> uh, it's like, damn, Jeff. <laughs> you have a government job. Can you yeah. do that? No, I'm I'm up to the sandstone. That keeps happening to you. I haven't yeah. I haven't found any any Oops. height in any of my adventures. I can tell you it's daytime outside because I just mined some sandstone and I can see out there. I'm just gonna cover oh. that up. Goodbye. That. Actually, maybe I'll just open it up so there's some. I don't want to open it up because then they'll, things will come down here. Yeah, true. Yeah, I'm not. I have encountered one zombie that was on top of the zombie spawner. And I'm assuming he just spawned there. Uh-huh. Uh, from the from the spawner, I mean. Uh, that's the only enemy I've encountered, and I've been walking through a decent amount of darkness too. So that's a little weird. I've uh, I've had some mobs, so the server's not broken or anything like that. Hmm. Yeah, I think that completes this this wing. Huh. We've done it. Now. Where's the next wing? That is the question. You still got a lot of darkness your direction? I mean, I keep finding it, like, various directions. Like, it's it's obvious what happened is, like, I started working away and then, um, like, ran out of, uh, ran out of lava and then never went back and finished it. Uh, yeah, I'm... Like, I just found a hall that, like, was lit up for a while and then i came around a corner and it's not lit anymore and there's gold and iron here i'm gathering it all up yeah i'm actually going up a big water trench right now i just saw the side that takes me to darkness and i am also out of lava so i'm gonna have to do the same thing and come back yeah that's the problem and then you like don't find the same way back and then yeah yeah we've taken so many twists and turns in here that it's it's really difficult to remember yeah. the exact pathway Yeah, especially when I just dug a hole to get to this one because I had seen it, uh, an openness, and then covered it up with cobble while I was lighting the other part of it up. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I think the way with the most darkness is like out of what I would have at one point considered the front of our house. I don't know if I'd call it the front anymore. We never go out that way. But like. Well, we consider it like lakefront property, you know. The lake's (laughs) actually the front. Yeah. Yeah. Oops, that yeah, was that doorway. Yeah, here we go. I <laughs> right when I get back to the house, I hear skeletons out that front door that you're talking about. Yeah, I mean, I hear skeletons near me right now too. I don't know where they're coming from. Oh, oh, oh God, I just burned oh, myself. Oh, 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 oh. Whew. I, I almost died. Really? Just trying to get lava. I double clicked so it picked up the lava and then put it down on top of myself. Oof. You have a 
Do you have a water now? Yeah, luckily I put I, I had I didn't have it on my hot bar though, and uh, you know it was one of those things where I had to go into the into my inventory and get it out to make sure I could live. Yeah. Now I got to make a bunch of food. I was down to two and a half hearts before that got fixed. I can hear a skeleton and he's in water. Can't find his ass though. Are you close to the house? Kinda. I wonder if it's the same one that I'm hearing over here. I'm on the back side, what I would call the back side. No, I'm I'm definitely hearing him at the front door. Yeah, I'm far from there. I think he might be up above me. I don't know. I hear him, I hear zombies. Oh yeah, I can see. I think the zombie's tracking you. Oh my god, I didn't realize that there was just this giant pit of lava kind of out the front door that we <laughs> don't have protected. I oh. didn't know that either. There's a creeper. If that zombie's tracking me, that's weird. That creeper oh, just, just blew it up. I'm in the house. Well, then you definitely would have heard that. That was our front door. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, where? This seems like extremely dangerous lava that we have not ever paid attention to that shows how little we've come out this door yeah that's what i'm saying like we just kind of threw threw it down over there and we're like all right we'll, we'll deal with that area well later. It's, it's not even uh now why you weren't even close to me creeper why are you blowing up that's weird uh no it's not even lava that we put down there's like a lake of lava under us oh i see which is quite baffling build that and that to make sure I don't walk into it. Yeah, and then here is just natural lava that's going crazy. Yeah, this is kind of wild how little we've come out here. It's been, it's been the time. That's the longest 22 minutes I think I've ever experienced. Oh. Um, but thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you soon. All right. See you.